HTTP context in .NET Core. This particular class was readily available in previous versions, but from HTTP.NET Core onwards, we have to do some configuration in order to access it. This class has various usages such as accessing session, cache, quest and response collection. Inside the startup.cs class, we have to call the add HTTP context accessor method of the services object inside the configure services method. HTTP context is now enabled. Now inside the controller, I am creating a private property of the IHTTP context accessor interface. Using dependency injection, I am injecting the IHTTP context accessor object into a constructor of the home controller class. Now the private property is set with the IHTTP context accessor object. And now inside the action method, I am accessing the HTTP context object through the accessor. For more information, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.